all right guys so it is going to be day one of using fenty skin i am so excited so we're gonna start off with the facial cleanser first i'm just gonna make my face a little wet and damp to do it oh god how do you open this oh my god i was like where's this top but it's like a removes makeup dirt and impurities because honestly girls right now i have impurities look at this oh my god just honestly just right here like girl just this so let me shut up and put it on let's go oh damn this is the yeah oh oh this smells like cotton candy and my face is damp so but yeah this is supposed to help a lot you know remove makeup i didn't wear any makeup today but i'm so excited for it to remove dirt and stuff it gets nice and foamy i'm okay with fragrance if it doesn't irritate my skin afterwards like if i can tell it's burning me then that's just but i know she mentioned that it's like less than one percent of fragrance so i think it's nice and foamy all right my skin smells and feels really good it's not a a hard tight skin feeling you know whenever you were you have used uh other type of cleansers like your face just feels like sticks like stiff but not this one and yeah it just feels really nice and dry as you can see pimple 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 we love pimple so Let's see if Fenty Skin can help me out with anything. So my next step is I'm going based off of the videos they have posted on Instagram, Fenty Skin. So Rihanna's skincare routine video that she posted on YouTube. So it is the facial washer and facial wash and then the toner fat water. Just look how cute this is. And it has witch hazel, which I have personally tried witch hazel before, but I just didn't like how it feels like it doesn't dry up it stays greasy and i notice that the next day whenever i wake up my face is just oily i just i couldn't i couldn't like witch hazel so hopefully this isn't the same thing girl okay so i think this two little squeezies it's nice and oh it's runny. Oh, whoa, this is weird. It's not. Oh, I like the texture. I like it now. It's not thick. It's not thick like a, like a cream. It's more watery, which is a really huge relief. So I'm putting it in my hands and she just press it on. And this one smells like vanilla. It's not liquidy like water, but it's not thick it's in between so let's just give that a minute to dry up to my last step which is the moisturizer the box really cute i love she is using reusable packaging so that's always amazing saving the planet so now i'm gonna do a little demo on how to put the packaging you just try to match the pump with this area and that's it that just clicks there boom and this is the packaging it is really cute and simple it's last step is to apply my moisturizer i have really been into more into moisturizers recently um i really appreciate that this one has sunscreen i know some people just don't apply sunscreen i used to be one of them i have been applying it more frequently not religiously but frequently it's just a step that's important if you wait how do you do this oh um so this is to put it away one when, when you want to use it you lift it up like and we wait oh there we go that looks enough that was three pumps let's do four even so it is a little pink tint cream color it is yeah so i don't know if this is water based let me know in the comments guys i don't think so 
I'm really more into a water-based moisturizer because I have oily skin. It really, oh my God. Oh, this one smells good. This one smells really good. This is that citrusy, fruity, passion fruit smell. So the first two are more candy sweet and now this one is a really fruity one. Oh, I love it. So now we just apply the moisturizer. I am really interested to see how my skin will react to this one. Like, is it going to accept it? If, if it's not a water-based, are my pores going to get super yucky? Am I going to get more acne? Is my face going to burn because <laughs> it has fragrance? Find out in the next episode. I really appreciate that this has sunscreen because sunscreen is honestly just an extra skincare step that nobody wants to do so this one just avoids that part this scent is stronger than the other ones i i was just rubbing it on my hands and i could immediately smell it but it's not a horrible smell that's why i love it so i'm not mad but my face doesn't seem red at all we'll just see how my skin looks tomorrow to give you an update of how my skin reacts. Good morning, it is the next day. And let me just tell you, when you're sleeping at night, making no movements, that fragrance really hits you. <laughs> I was getting a little drunk by it, but I woke up and I didn't smell it anymore. Maybe just the scent faded away, but that's a little precaution about that. Maybe this time I'll just use two pumps of moisturizer because i love it but it was just a whiff like a circle like a cloud of the fragrance circling around my head i was like oh my god it was a little bit strong so just a precaution on that but other than that little situation my skin feels soft it looks like some soft and it's not oily that is kind of the biggest problem that I have whenever I use like different moisturizers or like toners. Ugh, my face in the morning is just greasy. Like, oh my God, like greasy. I'm telling you guys, like this is all. I wake up and I'm like everything, like a plaster of grease all over my face. And I feel like, you know, when you feel that little sting in certain areas that, you know, you're going to get a pimple. I get that immediately but i didn't in the morning which was such a relief um i don't see any new breakouts i usually get breakouts pretty quickly overnight but nothing like that bad boy is still right there this one is still there and then this thing it's not a pimple it's like a like a cyst on the inside that's super gross but that is all i I don't know. So let me just go ahead and do my morning routine. Okay, so this is the morning of the second day of trying out Fenty Skin, and look at that glow. So this is how my skin is looking right now. Catch you guys at night. Okay, it is nighttime, and I did wear some a little bit of makeup today, just some mascara. As you can see, it's like all over down here, and some eyebrow product, but everything is kind of just leftover stuff so let's just get to the skincare this is how my face looks right now pimple pimple and pimple just the same blemishes that i had yesterday and today in the morning so let's just go ahead and do the routine
Okay, so I just finished doing the my skincare routine and I did notice that it didn't clean completely my mascara. As you can see, I still have like some residue of it. So that's a that's a little bummer since it says it helps remove the makeup. Just grab like some coconut oil with a Q-tip and let me remove it. As you can see, not a lot, but didn't remove all of my mascara. This is how my skin looks right now. I just have a big guy right there. And yeah. Catch you guys tomorrow morning. We got a pimple. <laughs> oh, we have two new pimples. <laughs> it's this one and this one. We'll see. Let's get to it and see how this old. Like this one's gone. I think it popped by itself. Yeah, these are it. So one went away and then you one came. So yeah, let's just get to it. This is the next morning. Skincare routine time. This is the next day and yeah, these pimples are just not evident. As you can see, these are already getting like white. This one just popped by itself. The little one right there. So we're getting acne, but we're not messing with it. Um, my face didn't wake up oily. It just feels hydrated, you could say. So let's just get on to the skincare. And this is how my skin looks after. I am getting some breakouts, as y'all can see. They're just acne scars, but these are the major ones right here. This one's growing here, and I'm growing one right here, which is super odd, but little one there. This is like a big cluster. And sure, but hopefully I don't mess with them and they'll go away. Um, but my skin feels really nice and clean, so I'll catch you guys at night. You already know it is skincare time, and uh, my skin is not doing the greatest right now i had to put pimple patches because these are just blowing up i'm having like these big ones right here just breakouts in general and they're so annoying like look i'm gonna take this one out oh y'all saw that oh nothing really happened but yeah i don't know 
I don't know if it's making me break out, but yeah, I'm not seeing any clearing my acne. I'm more of getting acne right now. But yeah, let's just go ahead and do the skincare routine. Alright guys, so that is it for my nighttime routine. Sorry I look a little funky. I have my retainers on. Uh, but yeah, it's just... Just new breakouts. Trying not to touch them. Mm, we'll just see how I look tomorrow. <laughs> all right guys so this is nighttime i did my skincare routine and yeah just nothing new same buddies uh this one kind of just went away just redness as y'all can see and right here looks the same still redness but yeah nothing different i mean my skin feels nice and shiny and clean, you could say, whenever I am out, I'm finished my skincare, but yeah. Yeah, almost done with one whole week using it, so tomorrow and then Monday, and we'll see the results. morning it is monday the last day trying out fenty skin and honestly i can't wait to go back to my regular skincare <laughs> uh but this is my face after just a pimple it seems to went away just acne scars mm, scar scar basically scars just this one so yeah let's just do our fido skin
Okay, guys, so I am not in my regular area because I'm going to get microneedling done and I really want to talk to you guys before I have that crazy redness. But anyways, it has been a full week of trying out Fenty Skin, the moisturizer with the sunscreen, the toner, and the facial wash. And honestly, I don't see a really big difference. I don't see anything. It actually made my skin break out in the beginning as y'all saw i just had like really crazy pimples but they're gone now it just seems to be a regular moisturizer a regular sunscreen and i was pretty bummed out about it because it has like great ingredients like there was niacinamide in there there's that cherry um she added the spf but i don't know it's just it didn't do anything i think this of course she didn't mention it at all and her line is not made for acne oily prone skin people i just really wanted to try it out maybe it worked for me or not but yeah i don't think this is really made for acne prone skin or oily skin people this is more like normal to dry skin i mean i don't it didn't do anything to me honestly and my pores were super clogged up during this entire time all of right here like everything was just full on clogged up like i think i even have like a little bump here but yeah my nose was super clogged up it's just not made for me i guess uh maybe in the future she will make like now specific skin types but for now i think she just wanted to just for normal skin but it wasn't really my favorite thing. I think I would just go back to my regular skincare. I don't think it was necessary to add all of that fragrance in there because it is strong. Honestly, as I was using it, I could smell it even more. And I, I don't think it was necessary. I mean, she had really good ingredients that had their own scent. I'm sure the cherry and the green tea had their own fresh scent that could be really pleasing to us and then to people who are sensitive to fragrance so like to each their own i mean she has one to do it so i don't recommend it if you have acne oily prone skin but if you have normal to dry hey you can go ahead and try it out if it doesn't affect you at all the fragrance or stuff but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and stick with my current skincare routine it's actually a black owned business that recently went skyrocket and it's actually available at some pop-up Nordstrom's. I can leave the Instagram handle of the skincare line. It's called, I'm probably not saying this right. It's Rosen or Rosin Skincare. And you know, it's a black owned business. She does have some stuff really made for acne prone skin. I'm using the Earth Cleanser right now. And then I actually bought the little breakout kit. It's kind of like the pink lotion, but this one's white. <laughs> so I just dab it whenever I have a pimple. And then I use the Earth Cleanser daily. It smells amazing. It has just plain and simple ingredients. Like you can really read what they are. She has the clay and I think it has eucalyptus oil. But really great. I love it. I'm just going to stick with that. If y'all want to support her business, I will leave the Instagram below. But yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.